Jeff Bridges has made a significant impact in the movie industry, leaving behind a legacy that spans over five decades. Known for his authentic and captivating performances, Bridges has become a household name and a respected figure in Hollywood. Throughout his career, Bridges has been nominated for seven Academy Awards, taking home the Oscar for Best Actor in 2010 for his role in Crazy Heart. He has also delivered memorable performances in films such as The Big Lebowski, True Grit, and Hell or High Water. Bridges was born into a family of actors with both his parents and siblings also working in the industry. Despite this, he initially pursued a career in music before turning to acting. This musical background has influenced his approach to acting as he often incorporates singing and playing instruments in his roles. Beyond his work in film, Bridges is also known for his philanthropy. He is a longtime advocate for environmental causes and has worked with organizations such as the National Resources Defense Council and the Amazon Watch. In 2010, he was named a United Nations Environment Program Goodwill Ambassador. Throughout his career, Bridges has remained humble and dedicated to his craft. He has continued to challenge himself with diverse roles and has become a respected and admired figure in the industry. His contributions to film and his advocacy for important causes have left a lasting impact, making him a true icon of Hollywood. Jeff Bridges is a highly respected and well-known actor who has been a part of the film industry for over six decades. He comes from a family of actors, with both his parents and siblings also being involved in the industry. Bridges has appeared in a wide variety of film, from western and dramas to comedies in science fiction. Some of his most memorable roles include The Dude in The Big Lebowski, Obadiah Stane in Iron Man, and Rooster Cogburn in True Grip. He has been nominated for seven Academy Awards, and won once for his role in Crazy Heart. 1. What do you think makes Jeff Bridges an enduring symbol of the film industry? Is it his talent, versatility, or the wide range of characters he has played over the years? 2. When was the first time you recognized Jeff Bridges in a film or TV show? We would love to hear your stories and memories about this classic star. Share with us your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Jeff Bridges in the comments below. There are many funny, shocking, and sad facts coming up about Jeff Bridges, so keep watching this video to learn more about this iconic actor. Jeff Bridges was born in Los Angeles, California in 1949 the son of Lloyd Bridges, a well-known actor, and Dorothy Bridges, a poet, actress, and author. His brother, Bo Bridges, is also an actor. Growing up in a family of actors, Bridges was exposed to the craft at a young age. He often accompanied his father to the studio and appeared in several television shows and films as a child. Bridges' parents encouraged his interest in acting and enrolled him in the Lamplighters Community Theater in Los Angeles when he was eight years old. There, he appeared in various plays and developed his skills as an actor. One of Bridges' earliest influences was his father, who not only introduced him to the world of acting, but also taught him the importance of professionalism and hard work. Bridges has said that his father's work ethic and dedication to his craft had a significant impact on him and inspired him to take his own career seriously. Another key influence on Bridges' path as an actor was his brother, Bo. The two brothers often acted together in films and television shows, and both served as a mentor and role model for Jeff. Bridges has said that working with his brother was a valuable learning experience and helped him to develop his skills as an actor. In addition to his family, Bridges has also cited several other actors and directors as influences, including James Dean, Marlon Brando, and Peter Sellers. He has said that he admired Dean's intensity and naturalism, Brando's versatility and range, and Sellers' comedic genius. Throughout his career, Bridges has continued to draw inspiration from a variety of sources, including music, literature, and visual art. He has also remained committed to his craft, continually challenging himself and taking on a wide range of roles in films and television shows. Jeff Bridges was born on December 4, 1949, in Los Angeles, California. He comes from a family of actors. His father, Lloyd Bridges, and brother, Bo Bridges, are also actors. Bridges' early life was filled with experiences on film sets, which sparked his interest in acting. Bridges' career began in the 1950s when he appeared in several television shows with his father and brother. 
However, it was not until the 1970s that he gained recognition for his roles in films such as The Last Picture Show and Thunderbolt and Lightfoot. These roles established Bridges as a talented and dedicated actor. One significant event that shaped Bridges' career was his collaboration with director Peter Bogdanovich in The Last Picture Show. Bogdanovich's mentorship and guidance helped Bridges develop his acting skills and gain confidence in his craft. Bridges' career has spanned over five decades, and he has become known for his versatile and nuanced performances. He has been nominated for seven Academy Awards and won once for his role in Crazy Heart in 2010. In addition to his acting career, Bridges is also a musician and photographer. He has released several music albums and published a book of his photographs. These creative pursuits reflect Bridges' passion for the arts and his desire to explore different forms of self-expression. Overall, Bridges' early life experiences and family background have significantly influenced his career as an actor. His talent, dedication, and versatility have earned him a prominent place in the film industry, and he continues to inspire and captivate audiences with his work. Jeff Bridges' passion for acting can be traced back to his childhood, as he grew up in a family deeply involved in the film industry. His father, Lloyd Bridges, and older brother, Bo Bridges, were both actors. As a child, Bridges was often on set and developed a love for storytelling and acting. A pivotal experience that fueled Bridges' desire to pursue acting as a career was his experience working as a production assistant on his father's TV show, Sea Hunt. During this time, Bridges had the opportunity to observe the filmmaking process up close and discovered the excitement and creativity involved in bringing a story to life. Bridges' passion for acting was further solidified during his time at the University of California, Santa Barbara, where he studied acting. He was an active member of the school's theater program, appearing in numerous productions and honing his craft. After graduation, Bridges began his professional acting career, and over the years, he has become known for his versatility and dedication to his craft. He has played a wide range of roles, from a country music singer in Crazy Heart to a futuristic alien in Starman, and has earned numerous accolades for his work, including an Academy Award for Best Actor. Throughout his career, Bridges has remained dedicated to his passion for acting, always seeking out new challenges and opportunities to grow as an artist. His love for storytelling and his commitment to his craft continue to drive him in his work, making him one of the most respected and beloved actors of his generation. At the age of 35, Jeff Bridges became a father for the third time when his wife, Susan Bridges, gave birth to their daughter Haley Roselwise Bridges on October 17, 1985. Bridges' performance as Terry Brogan in Against All Odds received much praise, with audiences returning several times for the thrilling car chase sequence at the start. Notably, John Hamm has expressed his admiration for Bridges, citing him as his favorite actor. These accolades speak to Bridges' talent and the enduring appeal of his work. Jeff Bridges, the well-known actor, faced many challenges in his early career. Despite coming from a family of actors, he struggled financially and had to take on various jobs to support himself. He worked as a waiter, a cleaning person, and even a clown at children's parties. Bridges also faced skepticism from the industry. He was told that he would never make it as an actor and that he was too tall and awkward. However, he did not let these comments discourage him. Instead, he used them as motivation to work harder and prove them wrong. Bridges' resilience and determination helped him overcome these obstacles. He took acting classes and worked on his craft, constantly improving and refining his skills. He also surrounded himself with supportive people, including his family and fellow actors, who encouraged him to keep going. One of the creative solutions Bridges found to overcome industry skepticism was to take on roles that were outside of the typical leading man mold. He played unconventional characters, such as a country singer in Crazy Heart and a video game designer in Tron Legacy. These roles showcased his versatility and helped him stand out in a crowded field. Another challenge Bridges faced was staying relevant in an ever-changing industry. He achieved this by taking on a variety of roles in different genres, from drama to comedy to science fiction. He also embraced new technologies, such as digital filmmaking and motion capture, which allowed him to expand his range as an actor. 
In conclusion, Jeff Bridges' early career was marked by financial struggles and industry skepticism. However, his resilience and creative solutions, such as taking on unconventional roles and embracing new technologies, helped him overcome these obstacles and become a successful and respected actor. During the filming of The Iceman Cometh in 1973, Jeff Bridges decided to commit fully to acting as a profession, having previously seen it as more of a joyride. His role as Jeffrey the Dude Lebowski in the 1998 film, The Big Lebowski has been recognized as one of the greatest movie characters of all time, ranking at number 90 on Premiere Magazine's list. In addition to his successful career, Bridges also found love on the set of Rancho Deluxe. He met his future wife, Susan Jeston, who was working in a diner during filming. After she initially turned him down, they crossed paths again at the movie's rap party. Their love story is a testament to the fact that sometimes the best things in life come when we least expect them. Jeff Bridges has had several breakthrough moments in his acting career. In 1971, he starred in The Last Picture Show, which earned him a nomination for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. Peter Bogdanovich, the director, praised Bridges for his natural talent and authenticity. In 1984, Bridges received widespread recognition for his role in Starman, which showcased his ability to portray complex and nuanced characters. His co-star, Karen Allen, commended his dedication to the craft and his capacity to bring depth to any character he played. Bridges won his first Academy Award for Best Actor in 2010 for his performance in Crazy Heart. The film's director, Scott Cooper, highlighted Bridges' exceptional talent and his unique ability to convey emotion through his performances. In addition to his film work, Bridges has also made significant contributions to the world of music. He released his first album, Be Here Soon, in 2000, and has since continued to explore his musical talents. Throughout his career, Bridges has consistently delivered captivating performances that have left a lasting impact on audiences and critics alike. His work has transcended generations and continues to inspire and entertain. Jeff Bridges, a well-known actor, resides in a Tuscan-style villa in Santa Barbara. Despite being offered the lead role in the 1982 film 48 HRS, he declined it as he wasn't interested in a typical police movie. This role was then given to Nick Nolte. Interestingly, Bridges later collaborated with the director of 48 HRS, Walter Hill, in the 1995 film Wild Bill. Bridges' family has a long history in the United States, with his father's side having lived in the country since the 1600s and having English and some Scots-Irish ancestry. On his mother's side, his grandfather was an English immigrant from Liverpool, Lancashire, England. His maternal grandmother had Irish, Swiss-German, and German ancestry. Jeff Bridges is known for his dedicated approach to acting often immersing himself in his roles to deliver authentic and compelling performances. He has a unique ability to bring depth and complexity to his characters, making them relatable and memorable for audiences. Bridges doesn't shy away from taking on challenging roles, and his willingness to explore different aspects of human nature is a testament to his artistic vision. His personal experiences and worldview often find their way into his work. For instance, Bridges' interest in photography and music has influenced his portrayal of various characters. He has also been vocal about his beliefs in environmental conservation and social justice, which are reflected in some of his film choices. Bridges' approach to acting is methodical and intuitive. He prefers to understand his characters' motivations and backstory, often creating a detailed biography for them. However, he also leaves room for spontaneity and improvisation, allowing for authentic and in-the-moment reactions. This balance between preparation and flexibility gives his performances a natural and engaging quality. In addition to his acting, Bridges is also an accomplished photographer and musician. These creative outlets not only enrich his life, but also inform his acting, providing additional perspectives and tools for character development. His artistic vision is broad, encompassing various forms of expression, and this versatility is evident in the diverse range of roles he has played throughout his career. Jeff Bridges' unique style and approach have made an indelible mark on the world of cinema. His commitment to his craft, 
combined with his ability to infuse his characters with depth and humanity, has resulted in a body of work that resonates with audiences and continues to endure. His contributions to the film industry are cherished, and his legacy as a captivating and talented actor will surely persist for generations to come. At the age of 61, Jeff Bridges became a grandfather for the first time when his daughter, Isabel, gave birth to a daughter named Grace. Bridges' acting career began in the 1970s, and he has since become a well-known figure in the film industry. One of his early roles was in The Last Picture Show, which also featured four other Oscar winners and four nominees. Despite his talent, director Michael Mann believed that Bridges was too young for the lead role in Thief in 1981. Despite this setback, Bridges has continued to have a successful career in film. Jeff Bridges is a highly respected actor, known for his diverse roles and authentic performances. He has made significant contributions to the film industry since the 1970s. Bridges is best known for his natural and engaging acting style, which has often been described as effortless and captivating. One of Bridges' most notable roles was in The Big Lebowski, where he played Jeffrey the Dude Lebowski. This performance helped solidify his status as a beloved and influential figure in Hollywood. Bridges' ability to bring depth and humanity to his characters has inspired many actors and filmmakers. Industry experts and fellow actors often praise Bridges for his dedication to his craft. He has been nominated for seven Academy Awards and won once for his role in Crazy Heart. His commitment to authenticity and his willingness to take on challenging roles have made him a respected and influential figure in the industry. Bridges has also been a strong advocate for film preservation and has worked to raise awareness about the importance of protecting and preserving classic films for future generations. In addition to his acting and advocacy work, Bridges has also made an impact as a musician. He has released several albums and has even performed at music festivals. His love of music has often found its way into his acting roles, such as in Crazy Heart, where he played a washed up country musician. Overall, Jeff Bridges' impact and influence on the film industry are significant and enduring. His dedication to his craft, his commitment to authenticity, and his willingness to take on challenging roles have inspired countless actors and filmmakers. His contributions to film preservation and his work as a musician have further solidified his status as a true Hollywood legend. Jeff Bridges was once in the running for the role of Batman Bruce Wayne in the 1989 film, but the part ultimately went to Michael Keaton. Bridges is perhaps best known for his role as Lightfoot in the 1974 film Thunderbolt and Lightfoot, where he and co-star Clint Eastwood's characters shared a drink of Olympia beer by the lakeside. This beer was originally brewed in Tumwater, Washington by the Olympia Brewing Company, but production has since moved to Irwindale, California as the company is no longer in business. In addition to his acting career, Bridges is known for his liberal political views and has been open about his political beliefs. Jeff Bridges, the accomplished actor, is known for his dedication to his craft and his passion for various causes outside of his professional life. He values family and has been married to his wife, Susan Justin, for over four decades. Bridges is also a dedicated photographer and musician, often incorporating these interests into his work. Philanthropy plays a significant role in Bridges' life. He is particularly passionate about ending childhood hunger in America through his work with the organization No Kid Hungry. Bridges has also been involved with the End Hunger Network since the 1980s, advocating for an end to childhood hunger worldwide. In addition, Bridges is a supporter of the environment and has been involved with various environmental organizations over the years. He has been a longtime advocate for the National Forest Foundation and has served as a spokesperson for the organization. Bridges' personal values and interests often inform his work as an actor. For example, his love of music is evident in many of his films, such as Crazy Heart, for which he won an Academy Award. His dedication to social causes is also reflected in his work, such as his portrayal of a volunteer for a homeless shelter in the film The Contender. Overall, Bridges' personal values and interests have shaped him into the accomplished actor and philanthropist he is today. His dedication to his family, photography, music, and various social causes is evident in both his personal and professional life. 
Jeff Bridges is known for fully immersing himself in his roles, and his performance as the dude in The Big Lebowski is no exception. When offered the part, Bridges asked the Coen brothers if they had known him in high school, reflecting the character's laid-back surfer persona. Bridges, accustomed to films with constant script rewrites, was surprised to learn from his co-star John Goodman that the Coens didn't revise their own material. In another film, The Fisher King, Bridges' character Jack encounters Robin Williams' character practicing cloud busting in Central Park. Bridges later reprised this unusual activity in The Men Who Stare at Goats. These instances showcase Bridges' commitment to his craft and his ability to bring unique and memorable characters to life on screen. Jeff Bridges has had a long and successful career in the film industry, with notable roles in films like The Big Lebowski and Crazy Heart, for which he won an Academy Award. His legacy is marked by his versatility and commitment to his craft, which has inspired many aspiring actors. When it comes to the future, Bridges has expressed interest in continuing to act and explore new roles. He has also been an advocate for environmental causes and has used his platform to raise awareness about important issues. For those looking to follow in his footsteps, Bridges offers some advice stay true to yourself and never stop learning. The industry is always changing, so it's important to stay adaptable and open to new experiences. And most importantly, always put your heart into your work. Bridges emphasizes the importance of hard work and dedication, as well as the value of staying grounded and authentic. He encourages aspiring actors to take risks and embrace new challenges, as this is how they will grow and develop their own unique voice and style. In short, Bridges' legacy is one of versatility, dedication, and authenticity, and he encourages aspiring professionals to embody these qualities as they pursue their own careers in the industry. At the age of 33, Jeff Bridges became a father for the second time, welcoming his daughter Jessica Lily Bridges into the world. In a twist of fate, Bridges' acting career was significantly boosted by his older brother, Bo, who recommended him for the role of Ernie in Fat City when he felt he was too old for the part. John Huston, the director, took Bo's advice, and Bridges' portrayal of Ernie was his breakthrough role. Bridges' likeness was later used as a reference for the clue, and Kevin Flynn characters in the 2010 sequel Tron Legacy, recreating a 35-year-old version of Bridges. Bridges' performance in Against All Odds, where he played Terry Brogan, was particularly noteworthy. His appearance and demeanor in the film were used to create a younger version of his character for Tron Legacy, highlighting the enduring quality of his acting and his timeless appeal. Jeff Bridges has spent decades delivering compelling performances that have captivated audiences. His passion for acting is evident in every role he takes on. From his breakout performance in The Last Picture Show to his iconic portrayal of Jeff, the dude Lebowski in The Big Lebowski. Throughout his career, Bridges has consistently pushed the boundaries of his craft, experimenting with different genres and techniques. He has brought complexity and depth to his characters, making them feel real and relatable to viewers. Bridges' impact on the entertainment industry is enduring. He has inspired countless other actors and filmmakers, and his work has left a lasting impression on audiences around the world. One of the things that makes Bridges' career so remarkable is his ability to adapt and evolve as an artist. He has never been afraid to take risks or try new things, and this willingness to innovate has helped him stay relevant and engaging throughout his career. At the heart of Bridges' success is his unwavering perseverance and dedication to his craft. He has faced challenges and setbacks along the way, but he has always remained focused on his goals and committed to telling meaningful stories. Bridges' journey is a powerful reminder of the power of creativity and the importance of following one's passions. His work has touched the lives of countless individuals, and his impact on the entertainment industry will be felt for generations to come. In the end, Bridges' legacy is not just about the roles he has played or the awards he has won. It is about the impact he has had on the world around him and the inspiration he has provided to others. Through his creativity, passion, and perseverance, Bridges has shown us all what is possible when we pursue our dreams and strive to make a difference in the lives of others. Jeff Bridges' parents, hoping to instill discipline, sent him to a military academy in ninth grade. This strict environment, however, did not deter Bridges from pursuing his passion for acting. 
In fact, he soon landed a role in the classic film The Last Picture Show. During filming, Bridges, who played Dwayne Jackson, had a brief fling with co-star Sybil Shepard, which Shepard later claimed was the only time she ever slept with a co-star. Bridges' dedication to his craft was evident early on. He even applied for the role of Romeo Montague in the 1968 film adaptation of Romeo and Juliet, although he did not ultimately receive the part. Despite this setback, Bridges continued to work hard and build a successful career in Hollywood. Jeff Bridges is an accomplished actor who has had an impressive career in film. In the 1980 film Heaven's Gate, Bridges was considered for the role of Nathan Champion, but ultimately played the part of John H. Bridges instead. Interestingly, in the Coen Brothers film The Big Lebowski, Bridges' character, the dude, has a connection to his personal life. The private detective mentions that Bunny's family is from a farm outside Moorhead, Minnesota, which is Bridges' wife's hometown, and located near Fargo, North Dakota, the setting of the Coen Brothers' previous film. Moreover, Bridges was also considered for the role of dead, Sonny Crockett in Miami Vice alongside Nick Knoll. However, both actors were deemed too expensive, and Don Johnson ended up with the part. Despite not getting the role, Bridges continued to have a successful career in film, showcasing his versatility and talent in various roles. Jeff Bridges was considered for the lead role in An Officer and a Gentleman, but his busy schedule led director Taylor Hackford to cast him in Against All Odds instead. In Rancho Deluxe, Bridges and Harry Dean Stanton spent so much time playing Pong that it was incorporated into a scene. Bridges would later star in Tron and its sequel, Tron Legacy, making him one of only two actors to appear in both films. His role in Tron was particularly notable as he was digitized and transformed into a video game character. Jeff Bridges brought the character of saloon keeper John H. Bridges to life in the 1980 film Heaven's Gate, with his role expanding during filming due to his strong performance. Initially, the part was smaller, but director Michael Cimino was so impressed with Bridges that he kept adding scenes, leading to rewrites of the script. In the 1982 film Tron, Bridges had to wear a dance belt to conceal a bulge in his computer outfit, demonstrating the attention to detail required in filmmaking. Bridges also served as the national spokesperson and founder of No Kid Hungry from 2010 to 2011, showcasing his commitment to social causes. His work in the industry and dedication to making a difference highlight his versatility and impact beyond acting. Jeff Bridges has made a significant impact in the film industry with his notable performances. Three of his films, The Last Picture Show, The Big Lebowski, and Iron Man, have been selected for the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress for their cultural, historical, and aesthetic significance. In the 1984 film Starman, Bridges gave a standout performance as the titular character, a mysterious alien who takes on the form of a deceased man and embarks on a journey to meet his alien brethren. The film earned Bridges an Academy Award nomination for Best Actor, making it the only John Carpenter film to receive such recognition. One memorable scene in Starman features Bridges' character, Starman, walking outside the house naked and using a marble that causes his hair to stand on end. This surreal effect was achieved by filming Bridges hanging upside down and then reversing the shot to give the illusion of him standing upright. Interestingly, Bridges' father, Lloyd Bridges, also performed a similar shot in the 1980 film Airplane. Bridges' career is marked by his ability to take on diverse roles and bring depth and nuance to each character he plays. His contributions to the film industry are cherished by audiences and critics alike, and his legacy continues to resonate with fans of all ages. Jeff Bridges is known for his role in The Big Lebowski, where he played the laid-back character, the dude. Bridges has taken his love for this character beyond the screen and into the music world, where he tours with a band called The Abiders, a nod to the movie's repeated line, The Dude Abides. In addition to his acting and music careers, Bridges is also an avid photographer. He owns a Japanese Wide Lux 35mm camera, which he uses to capture behind-the-scenes moments on his movie sets and to produce some of his photographic books. Despite turning down a role in The California Kid in 1974, Bridges has had a successful career in film, 
with his performances leaving a lasting impression on audiences. His work in The Big Lebowski is just one example of his ability to fully embody a character and make it his own. Jeff Bridges, known for his role in Starman, competed against Richard Yeakel for the Best Supporting Actor Oscar in 1972. That year, Bridges co-star Ben Johnson won the award. Interestingly, Johnson and Yeekel had previously co-starred in Chisholm with John Wayne. Years later, Bridges would take on the role of Rooster Cogburn in True Grit, a character Wayne had played in the original film. In Starman, Bridges and co-star Karen Allen sang a duet for the song All I Have to Do is Dream, which was included on the movie soundtrack. The two leads also recorded a music video for the song, which can be found on the DVD. Bridges was also considered for the role of John Rambo in First Blood. Despite not getting the part, Bridges has had a successful career, earning six Oscar nominations, including for his role in True Grit. Jeff Bridges was initially offered the lead role in the 1970 film Love Story, but both he and his brother Bo Bridges declined. The role ultimately went to Ryan O'Neill. Despite this, Bridges has had a successful film career, including his portrayal of John H. Bridges in the 1980 film Heaven's Gate. Co-star Chris Christopherson has stated that he'll always be proud of the movie, and Bridges himself has said that he appreciates it more every time he sees it. Another notable role for Bridges was as the dude in the 1998 film The Big Lebowski. The film has since gained a cult following, and several of its cast members, including Bridges, have hosted Saturday Night Live. Bridges' career is a testament to his talent and versatility as an actor. Jeff Bridges was initially set to star in the 1988 film Tequila Sunrise alongside Nick Nolte. However, when Nolte dropped out, Bridges also chose to leave the project, and the roles went to Mel Gibson and Kurt Russell. In another instance, Bridges was offered the part of Bobby Grady in the 1984 film Crimes of Passion, but John Laughlin ended up playing the role. Despite not taking on these roles, Bridges has demonstrated his exceptional acting skills in various other films. He has expressed that American heart and Fearless are his personal favorites among his works. These films showcase his ability to portray complex and nuanced characters, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. Bridges' dedication to his craft and his knack for choosing impactful roles have solidified his status as a respected figure in the film industry. His understated yet powerful performances have captivated audiences for decades, making him a beloved actor among moviegoers of all ages. In the 1984 film Starman, Jeff Bridges portrayed the title character, a mysterious alien who takes the form of a deceased man and embarks on a journey across America. Bridges' portrayal of the naive and curious Starman was so impressive that it earned him a Best Actor nomination at the Academy Awards. Interestingly, in the novel k Pax, the extraterrestrial visitor is a fan of the movie Starman. Years later, Bridges would play a psychologist treating an extraterrestrial visitor in the film k Pax. In 1974, Bridges gave a memorable performance as Lightfoot in Thunderbolt and Lightfoot, earning his first Oscar nomination for Best Actor in a Supporting Role. The film itself was not nominated for Best Picture that year, making Bridges' nomination the only one in the category not associated with a Best Picture nominee. To prepare for the role of Starman, Bridges hired a dancer to help him perfect the character's unique and naive movements. This level of dedication to his craft is just one example of why Bridges is highly regarded in the film industry. As a young man, Jeff Bridges showed early promise in the music industry when he sold two of his compositions to music producer Quincy Jones. This initial success, however, did not deter him from pursuing a career in acting. Bridges' talent for gaming became apparent during the filming of Tron, where he played the lead role of Kevin Flynn. To help the actors get into character, arcade games were placed on the sets and could be played during breaks. Bridges was reportedly the most skilled at these games, often finding it challenging to stop playing and return to filming. In 1984, Bridges starred in not one, but two Columbia Pictures film Starman and Against All Odds. In Starman, he played an alien who takes on the form of a deceased man and forms a bond with the man's widow. Despite the challenges of portraying an otherworldly character, Bridges delivered a compelling performance. These roles demonstrate Bridges' versatility and dedication to his craft. 
Whether playing a gaming enthusiast or an alien, he brings a level of authenticity and commitment to each character he portrays. In 1984, Jeff Bridges starred in the film Starman, which included a clip from the 1953 Columbia Pictures film From Here to Eternity, featuring a famous beach love scene. That same year, Bridges also starred in Against All Odds, another Columbia Pictures film whose movie poster bears a resemblance to the earlier film's love scene, though without the ocean waves. Bridges is also known for his role as the dude in the Coen Brothers film The Big Lebowski. In the movie, the dude mentions being a roadie for Metallica during their Speed of Sound tour and refers to the band members as a bunch of assholes. Metallica was flattered by the reference and even considered incorporating the scene into their live shows. Despite not getting the lead role in Kinsey, which went to Liam Neeson, Bridges' career remains noteworthy. His performances have left a lasting impact, and his roles have been both memorable and influential. Jeff Bridges has had a distinguished career in film, with a few notable gaps between Academy Award nominations. The longest gap was 16 years, between his nominations for Starman in 1984 and The Contender in 2000. In the 1972 film Fat City, Bridges played the character Ernie, and in one scene, he and Faye, played by Candy Clark, discuss pregnancy and marriage in a car. The intro to Bread's If, a popular ballad from 1971, starts up on the car radio. Ernie irritably switches stations, but eventually settles on the original station, allowing the rest of the song to play out under their dialogue. Bridges is perhaps best known for his role as the dude in the 1998 film The Big Lebowski. Interestingly, he reunited with Julian Moore 16 years later in the 2014 film The Seventh Son. These examples illustrate the range and longevity of Bridges' career from his early roles in the 1970s to his more recent performances. In the film The Big Lebowski, Jeff Bridges played the laid-back character known as the dude. Interestingly, Bridges had previously worked with another actor who played a Lebowski, David Huddleston, in the 1972 film Bad Company. Bridges reused his The Big Lebowski wardrobe in the 1991 film The Fisher King, wearing the same baseball t-shirt. This detail showcases the ease with which Bridges slips into his roles, creating memorable characters through consistent details. In Thunderbolt, in Lightfoot, Bridges played Lightfoot opposite Clint Eastwood's Thunderbolt lieutenant according to Stephen Bach's final cut. Eastwood felt upstaged by Bridges' performance, highlighting the young actor's natural talent and charisma. Despite the potential tension, the two actors delivered a compelling film, showcasing Bridges' ability to hold his own against industry veterans. Jeff Bridges is an accomplished actor, known for his work in films like The Fisher King. In this movie, he starred alongside three other Oscar winners and four nominees, making for a highly acclaimed cast. Prior to his acting career, Bridges followed in the footsteps of his father an older brother by serving in the United States Coast Guard. In 2010, Bridges and Colin Firth were both nominated for the Academy Award in the category of Best Leading Actor Bridges won for his role in Crazy Heart. But the following year, Firth took home the award for the King's Speech. Throughout his career, Bridges has consistently delivered strong performances, earning him a well-deserved reputation as a talented and dedicated actor. Jeff Bridges is known for his diverse roles in film. In the 1980 film Heaven's Gate, he starred as John H. Bridges alongside other accomplished actors such as Christopher Walken, Chris Christopherson, and Isabel Huppert. The cast included three Oscar winners and seven Oscar nominees, making it a powerhouse of talent. In 1976, Bridges played the role of Jack Prescott in King Kong. There were rumors of an onset affair with co-star Jessica Lange, but these were false. Bridges was engaged to Susan Jeston, whom he later married and had children with. Lange and Bridges have remained friends since making the film. Bridges is a fan of actors Robert Ryan and Lee Marvin and counts Billy Budd as one of his favorite movies. His admiration for these actors and films has influenced his own career and shaped his approach to acting. Overall, Bridges is a talented and respected actor who has worked with some of the industry's biggest names and has a deep appreciation for the craft of acting. Jeff Bridges is known for his diverse range of roles in film. In the 1999 film The Muse, he played Jack Warwick, a struggling screenwriter. 
Interestingly, this wasn't the first time Bridges worked with Cybill Shepard. They had previously starred together in the 1971 film The Last Picture Show. There has been a rumor that Bridges turned down the role of Matt Hooper in the classic film Jaws. However, in an interview with Howard Stern, Bridges clarified that this was not true. In addition, Bridges and Nick Nolte were once considered for the lead roles in the 1995 film Heat. These parts ultimately went to Al Pacino and Robert De Niro. It would have been fascinating to see Bridges and Nolte in those roles, but the film was still a success with its chosen cast. Bridges' career is filled with notable performances and interesting what-ifs, making him a captivating figure in the world of film. Jeff Bridges, known for his role as Jack Prescott in King Kong, once left a teenage girl with a crush on him feeling overlooked. According to Charles Grodin's book, How I Get Through Life, Grodin's daughter Marion was cheered up with cheeseburgers and TV after feeling ignored by Bridges. Bridges also experienced personal tragedy early in life when his brother, Garrett Miles, died of sudden infant death syndrome on August 3, 1948. Despite his impressive career, Bridges has only taken on the role of a villain three times. He played Clue 2 in Tron Legacy, and Obadiah Stain in Iron Man, as well as a killer in The Banishing with Kiefer Sutherland. Bridges' ability to bring depth and nuance to any character he plays has made him a respected and admired figure in the industry. Jeff Bridges is known for his role as Starman in the 1984 film of the same name. Following his work on Friday, the 13th, the final chapter, Bridges was unavailable for an interview with a group of reporters. So the director, John Carpenter, directed them to Ted White, who had just finished playing Jason in the film. The next day, an article was published about White, and Friday fans arrived at the set to see him. In addition to his role in Starman, Bridges was strongly considered for the lead role of Doug Quaid in Total Recall. Bridges is the son of Lloyd Bridges and Dorothy Dean Bridges and the brother of Bo and Cindy Bridges. His family has a strong acting background with his father and brother also being actors. Let's hear your thoughts on the talented Jeff Bridges and his impressive work in the film industry. With a career spanning over five decades, Bridges has given us many memorable performances that have left a lasting impression. From his early roles in films like The Last Picture Show and Thunderbolt and Lightfoot to his iconic portrayal of the dude in The Big Lebowski, Bridges has consistently delivered captivating and nuanced performances. His work has touched the hearts of many and his legacy in the entertainment industry is well deserved. If you're a fan of Bridges, be sure to like and share this post to show your support. And don't forget to subscribe for more content celebrating the creative spirits that shape entertainment. In the comments, share your favorite Jeff Bridges moments and what his work means to you. Let's come together and appreciate the impact this talented actor has had on the world of film.